Hey guys, thanks for coming back to my channel. Thanks for coming to watch another cleaning video. Today I have a whole house clean with me. I definitely have a lot to clean up. I had a lot of people over with Easter as well as then I kind of had a girls night and we certainly had a lot of fun. Um, but I also went to Target and did a little bit of a mini grocery shop. So there was just a lot of mess to clean up, a lot of dishes. A lot of surface cleaning that needed to be done and also putting away all of the new items that I purchased. So I just wanted to get started on that today since I was planning on putting my daughter down for a nap. I figured I would see what I'd be able to get done in that time frame. And as you can see even the bedroom just became a mess with clothes and my closet just needed a little bit of an overhaul because I was just throwing things in there <laughs> for the past couple of days. So I tried to put my daughter down for a nap. I always put on some white noise for her that seems to really soothe her and give me the longest period of time that she'll stay asleep. And by some miracle, she did stay asleep for quite a while. And then I, that gave me time to kind of write down my thoughts on what I wanted to get accomplished. And I love doing that. It just kind of I love being able to accomplish it and kind of cross something else off that list. That way I just feel a sense of satisfaction. And it's shameful to admit that that laundry has been sitting there for over two days. So I needed to restart that. But I guess that's just mom life. I decided to start by unloading the dishwasher and reloading the dishwasher and just removing all of the trash from the bags on the counters and after I did that it started to feel a lot less overwhelming. Next, I decided to just put all of my daughter's formula away, as well as a bunch of different food items that I picked up for her. I kind of have different sections set aside for her in the pantry and in my cupboards. That's way I know where, where everything is all the time, and I know when something needs to be replenished. And I like having a lot of her food just sitting out in the open, because it's just easiest to see what I have available, especially with an infant. <laughs> Next, I decided to kind of go through my fridge and throw it out anything that was expired and also just get rid of anything that I didn't think we would be needing anytime soon. I knew I was going to go for a, a full week grocery shop in the next few days and I also want to deep clean the fridge and I like doing it when the fridge is getting bare like this. It's obviously so much easier to do. And now on to the bar. This area is really a hub of our home. It has both our coffee bar and our wine bar there. So it really needs to look clean for the house to look right because it's in the middle of the living room. So I'm just giving it a quick surface clean, cleaning out the mini fridge and the sink as well. And I feel like it just makes the home that much more inviting. And now to the dreaded bar sink. This sink is my nemesis. I'm always cleaning it, but it's 
because I throw down my two favorite things of life, wine and coffee. Wine and coffee, y'all. Next, I went into my laundry room. I have a big space there and I need to utilize it better. I'm going to be doing a big laundry declutter and organize later, but for now, I was able to put everything I purchased on a desk that we have in there. And that way I would know at least what I had on hand and what I needed to still get at the store. Sometimes when it's right in front of your face, it's a little bit easier. I have wanted to clean my washer and dryer for weeks. I spilled fabric softener and there were blue spots everywhere. It took a ton of elbow grease, but with a Magic Clean eraser, I was able to finally clean it and that felt so good. <laughs> I then just walked around the entire house just to pick up all of the random laundry all over the floors. I knew I had a lot of laundry to fold and I wanted to get a new load started. That way I felt like the laundry was completely under control. And here I am in my daughter's playroom, literally whipping toys to the side as I clean up her changing table and emptying out the laundry in the hamper that's built in as well. I then go to the coffee table and clean up whatever dinner we might have had. We watch a lot of movies as a family, lunches, dinners, a lot. this room gets used a lot. So I'm always cleaning off the tables and rearranging the couch and her toys as well. So I just wanted to clean up the desk a bit and then fold some of the blankets, just make it a little bit more comfy so that we can go in and mess it up again.
I finished up cleaning with vacuuming and mopping. I vacuumed both of the bedrooms as well as the kitchen floor, the hallway, the living room, and the bathroom as well. I always love when I get to mopping and vacuuming because I know that I'm pretty much done with for the day and so I always try to do it so quickly so I know I can start enjoying the rest of my night. Here I'm just refilling my mop cleaner. I just used the method grapefruit spray anyone would really do but I like to add some lavender essential oils and the combination of them both just smells so good and it lingers just a fr enough of a fresh smell for a couple days afterwards which I really enjoy. <laughs> Lastly I'm just doing some finishing touches and putting up some clean bathroom towels. It is just so satisfying having clean towels be put up. But then this happened. My lovely golden retriever decided to knock over my granola and proceed to eat most of it. I was actually impressed that he could finish off most of the bag. At that point I was so exhausted that I recruited my hubby to finish up cleaning and vacuum for me. We also decided to get some takeout because I was so exhausted at this point and it was so good. But thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you soon. Bye.